to escort Dr. Madhuvira Raghavan for the formal inspection of the parade. Jai Hind, Shreema. Jai Hind. Jai Hind, Shreema. Jai Shri Man! Marching forward, leading the troops is the security contingent commanded by Ms. G. Krishna Vedi. Today we begin the 77th year. As a nation, we have achieved much. We have grown into the fifth biggest economy. We have the fastest growing economy among the top five. Sample some of these numbers. The growth numbers of the world top five economies for the period January to March 2023. 1.1% is the US, 4.5% is China, 1.6% is Japan, minus 0.3% is Germany, and 6.1% is India. Some more important numbers. Since independence, the largest democracy in the world with about 91 crore eligible voters. The forex reserves multiplied 335 times, 500% jump in the food grain production, sevenfold rise in the length of national highways, power deficit to a power surplus nation. Passenger traffic at airports grew 10 times in two decades, first in global milk production, third largest producer of eggs globally, massive jump in literacy rates from a mere 18.3% in 1951 to over 75% in 2020. A sharp drop in infant mortality rate, over 1,000 universities currently, from 27 universities in 1951. The number of medical colleges grew over 21 times since 1950. Is it any wonder that we have developed into a world power today? We are also the nation with most people. Today, we are not only independent, we are overall free. Free to think and speak for ourselves, free to vote in and vote out governments, free to possess and enjoy your rights, free to seek and get justice. You know the rest of the list. If we were to compare for one moment other nations that became independent of imperialistic foreign rule just near about us, we realize we're doing far better than them. You could probably say to me that China is an exception, but we know that Chinese may be independent but not a free nation. Today, India is among the best places to be. While this is as sweet as honey, the fact is we're going to attract flies and ants if you are the honey we claim to be. We might have been the best honey bees, but we must remember the beehive not only has the worker bees, it also has soldier bees that defend the hive's honey. Like those bees, we must defend our freedom. That does not mean we become either workers or soldiers for India. That simply means we now have to start thinking about and acting more on our responsibilities, both individual and collective. The foremost responsibility for us is to know and remember that there can be no bees and therefore no honey without the ecosystem of forests and gardens, the shrubbery and the flora. There can similarly be no forests or gardens or flora without the bees. It is this fine and beautiful interdependence that sustains both the bees and the ecosystem. Our primary responsibility is also to understand that we should achieve that finely balanced interdependence without losing our freedom. Our second responsibility is to understand the importance of our nation to the world, the whole world. Even our enemies have come around to accepting the truth that if India goes, the world goes with it. It is up to us where we want to lead the world. Not just now. India has been leading the world for millennia. We have dominated the world with compassion and the desire to include all into our thought ecosystem. That friends shall be my request to all of you on this wonderful day as we celebrate and cherish each and every year. Say Jai Hind, but let's not forget Jai Jagat. Our real challenge is to tell and convince Mr. Jagat that his existence rests on the existence of Mr. India. And he thrives if and only if Mr. India thrives. Jai Hind. Thank you. At the time of independence, many world leaders said that the India's, India's diversity, for example, we have 22 languages and 20,000 dialects. 
They say that it will lead to disintegration, but that has not happened and never will. In spite of a diversity in progress, we stand deep, deeply rooted to our traditional beliefs, our rich culture, and respect for both the individual and the community. Our abilities of perseverance and resilience, bound together by a common trait of pride, legacy and sovereignty will propel our great nation towards even greater heights of leadership, achievement, and equality, thereby setting an examples for other nations to emulate. We have the world's largest talent pool, and that will include you.